Hello everyone, it is an honor to be celebrating Ghana at 63. We are here in Tampa Bay, Florida. I am honored to be here to be interviewing and sitting down with the man of the hour, the president of the Ghana Association here in Tampa Bay. It's an honor once again. This is Obaya Ejewa reporting from the red carpet at Tampa Bay, Florida. Mr. Wisdom Dakon. Thank you, thank oh. you, Obaya. You're looking so beautiful. Thank you so much. We're celebrating Ghana at 63, so I had to come represent. Thank you so much for inviting us to come here as well. It is wonderful for Ghanaians in abroad to be continuing the culture and celebrate you know what we Ghanaians know from back home um, as president of the association what preparation what did you do in order to organize such a beautiful event tonight um, it took a lot of time a lot of man hours yeah. a lot of uh, teamwork to really get this uh, program together um, we actually started planning somewhere in November and uh, we formed a planning committee mm -hmm. that oversaw the entire preparation of the program so it's it's a it's a communal effort to make sure that this program Wonderful. has really come together as you're going to see nice now i know you guys do more than just you know events and social gathering and stuff so let's talk more about the ghana association here what is the goal and what is the vision for the association? Okay, um, the Ghana Association of, or the Ghanaian Association of Tampa Bay uh, was reorganized and reconstituted in 2009. Mm -hmm. And um, after, uh, once we were reconstituted, we realized that we could only uh, come together as a community to be able to project Ghana, promote Ghana, and also promote ourselves. If you're in a community where you are so involved and you don't, uh, or you are not organized, it is very difficult for you to get things done. So we realized that through this organization, we could get a lot done. So we were able to um, organize what we call the Youth Educational Program, mm -hmm. which we celebrate every year. And it's through this organization that we're able to give scholarships to these high school children who are going into college. Uh, besides that, to, um, as a community, we don't want to lose our heritage. So the only way to be able to remember and continue to promote our heritage, whereby our children would also know that, yes, they come from a very rich background, is to be able to organize as a community. And that is why we have the Ghanaian Association of Tampa Bay. Wow, wonderful. The idea of you know focusing on academia when it comes to the kids, it's so important. How do you guys also keep the kids in tune with the Ghanaian culture and the language? Okay, um, this particular program program is a two-phase program. It is a mentorship program. We try to match these students with other Ghanaian families so that they would be able to understand and see or um, see what's going on. Uh, these uh, the, the mentors are also professionals so who also advise them through their academic programs so it's a two-phase program you get to partner with the family and then you also learn uh, from that professional That's so wonderful so once they're in college you continue to follow them as well and post-grad or how does it work yes once they're in college we um, we have a, f uh, a whatsapp group for them these kids are able to communicate amongst themselves and then the, the chairman of the educational committee is also in touch with them and follows through, through them uh, during their programs and whenever we are holding the Ghanaian Association of Tampa Bay annual events which is the cultural and traditional night some of these children come along to perform because in no time we are going to hand the baton over to them exactly. to be able to take care of uh, exactly. the activities of the community. I am so proud. I mean, looking at the website and seeing all the various things that you guys are doing for the community, it's really moving. You know, we come from, you know, foreign land, we came from our continent and now we're here. We're here to stay, the kids are here. So sometimes, oftentimes, people often forget that we are still Ghanaians, even though we're not on the soil. So I'm very proud of you guys and you know, with the work that you're doing across the Tampa Bay area. As far as community service go, let's talk about community service. service yeah. That's very important because as we're here, you have to give back to the community. community. So let's talk about that. Okay, um, maybe I'll take it from this angle. Why am I so involved in 
the Ghanaian Association of Tampa Bay. I, I moved to Tampa sometime in the year 2000 okay. and um, went through college. Uh, the community gave me a lot, especially from other Ghanaians. I was involved with the association throughout the time that I was here. And then um, thereafter, after joining or joining or after the association was reconstituted, I was uh, taken up as the secretary of the association, rose through the ranks to become the vice president and currently the president. I am doing this because I also believe that I have to give back to society because the community has given me so much. And the best thing I can also do is to be able to spearhead the efforts of the association so that uh, the community also uh, benefits from me. Uh, we are involved in uh, community service with the metropolitan ministries. We go there to uh, do volunteer work. Uh, we're also involved with uh, Habitat for Humanity. Oh, wow. Yeah, we also go there to do community service. And then we also have an external community service program. Okay. Uh, we have a school in Ghana, a primary school in Ghana that we have adopted. Oh. And at the beginning of every school year, we send them school supplies. Yes, wow. So this is what we do as part of our community wow. service to the Ghanaian community, both uh, here in Tampa, the Tampa Bay community as a whole, and then our external community you in Ghana. You guys are doing excellent. We're trying our it's best. Excellent. We're trying our best. You know, I'm excited to see who else is coming down. I hear that the, the mayor and some few Congress people are coming from the city to come support tonight. It's wonderful to be involved and actually, you know, in involve people from the council men to come and see what Ghanaians are also doing you know so how do you manage that relationship um, being an intricate part of the Tampa Bay community uh, we can't take ourselves away from them so we had to reach out to the mayor's office yeah. to let them know that um, the number of Ghanaians here have been able to constitute themselves into a, 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 a forceful group. Wow. And we want them to come and see the culture, see how we are organized. Yes. And also, if there's anything that um, the city can help us achieve or do, we'll be able to take advantage Wonderful. of that. Wonderful. Let's talk about tonight's event. Mm -hmm. I hear there's a special guest of honor. Let's talk about that. How did you begin that process? So who's our special guest of honor tonight? <laughs> um, our special guest of honor is uh, the former first lady of Ghana, Dr. Nana Kunedua Jaman Rollins. Um, interestingly, she came uh, to Tampa for a program. And uh, the ex as a matter of fact, we were invited. We showed up at the program and um, approached her, let her know that um, the Ghanaian community here in Tampa uh, is a force and uh, would love for her to come and speak yes. to us. So she said when we are ready we should let her know and uh, she would look at her timetable if it's convenient uh, she would come represent. Nice. And interestingly when we pulled the various plugs that we had to pull <laughs> uh, we succeeded in getting her over oh. to come on our program. We are very, very honored. Yes, very, very Ghana, honored. Ghana is also proud of you. We are happy to be here reporting for DNT News, Diaspora Network Television. We are excited and we are so happy for Tampa Bay, what you guys are doing, especially with the focus on the youth. So we can't wait to see what's going to happen tonight. We'll bring you guys into the hall as we meet and greet everybody else, the citizens of Ghanaian heritage who are here in Tampa Bay. Mr. Wisdom, thank you so much. It's an honor to meet you. Thank you very much, Abaya. <laughs> Thank you for the great work you're doing for the community oh, as well. You. Thank you.